Welcome to this lecture on organizing content for your iBooks Author project. Now, although this application is called iBooks Author, I would say that it's actually not an ideal authoring environment, and it's more of a design tool that allows you to put all of your content together in a nice package. The actual authoring should be done in other applications that are much better suited to the task, so things like Apple Pages or Microsoft Word. And I think before you start working with iBooks Author, it's a good idea to decide how you're going to organize your book. Are you going to use chapters only, chapters and sections, what kind of media you're going to use, what kind of interactive elements you'll want to include, and so forth. So I have my exercise files here, and you can see that I've organized my content into different folders and subfolders. I have a folder here for text. If I open that up, you can see that it actually has content that was written in a different application. And I think in a lot of cases, doing this kind of work before you start will save you a lot more work down the road as it's going to be much harder or it may be much harder to change things within iBooks Author once you're in the middle of a project. Another advantage to having all of your content organized in this way is that it gives you much more flexibility if in the future you decide to take this content and publish it in another format. Again, as much as you might want to jump right in and start working on your next Again, as much as you may want to jump right in and start working on your next bestseller, my advice to you would be to first think about your project, the content and media you're going to be using, and then spend some time organizing it into folders. So it'll make a, the whole process much, much easier for you. And that concludes our lecture on organizing content.